good morning friends today we are going to learn the next part of our general topic of the paper english novel that is satirical novel in the previous lecture we learn about the historical novel what kind of setting it has what kind of characters it has and now we are going to learn the satirical novel before learning satirical novel we are going to learn what is the meaning of satire and how there are different meanings to the particular term satire satire an artistic form chiefly literary and dramatic in which human or individual vices follies abuses or shortcomings are held held up to censure by means of ridicule derision burlesque irony parody caricature or other methods sometimes with an intent to inspire social reform see satire is an artistic form it is used in novel drama poetry if we take example of alexander's pope's republic rape of the lock we can understand how it is a satire on the contemporary society and its manners satire is a potent term where we can understand there are multiple meanings to the satire or the uh, n number of ways to satire or to make fun of it together with its de derivatives it is one of the most heavily worked literary des designations and one of the most imprecise the great english lexicographer samuel johnson defined satire as a poem in which wickedness or folly is censured the samuel johnson great lexicographer wrote about the term satire and defined as a poem in which it is a wickedness or folly is, is censured if we learn uh, satire term you can understand no strict definition can encompass the complexity of a word satire a mocking spirit or tone that manifests itself in many literary genres but can also enter into almost any kind of human communication as well uh, if we take example we make fun of any man or woman by his physical appearance so it is called uh, we can say that a satire can enter almost any kind of human communication as well wherever whenever wherever wit is employed to expose something foolish or vicious to criticism there satire exists satire is in song or sermon in painting or political debate on television or in the movies in this sense satire is everywhere this term exists everywhere and in satirical novels we can understand how satire is uh, used to show the particular event is a wrong and a foolish one and the satire is to make fun of it in literary work satire can be direct or indirect with direct satire the narrator speaks directly to the reader with indirect satire the author's intent to realized within the narrative and its story satire is use of humor irony sarcasm or ridicule to criticize something or someone here the events might be satired the particular person might be satired public figures such as politicians are often the subject of satire but satirist can take aim at other targets as well from societal conventions to government policies so here we can understand how the satire term is broad one satire is an entertaining form of social commentary and it occurs in many forms there are satirical novels poems and essays as well as satirical films shows and cartoons as well so satire is a bit unusual as a literary term because it can be used to describe both a literary device and the specific genre of literature that makes use of the device just like a comedy is comedic 
because it uses comedy a satire is satirical because it uses satire for most of this entry the word satire will be used to refer to the device not the genre most of the time it is used as a device but not the genre but here we are going to learn what is the satirical novel and what kind of novels uh, satirical novel one of the satirical novel animal form is prescribed for you satire often coincides coincides with the use of other literary devices such as irony malprosism over statement understatement juxtaposition or parody so these literary devices used for satire though most satire seek to draw laughter there are many unfunny or even dark examples of satire such as george orwell's animal form or bretton easton's ellis american psycho which criticizes criticizes communist societies and the capitalist societies respectively in animal form we can see the communist societies are satire are used uh, it is are used to satire and in it george orwell in the animal form satired on the communist society and in bret easton eastern elites american psycho satires on the capitalist societies satire as literary device versus satire as genre if we see satire as a literary device and a genre uh, satire first of all uh, we must know satire as a literary device and after that satire as a genre there are many novels plays and other works of literature that fall into the genre of satire these works are all characterized by their consistent and sustained satirical attacks on their various targets for instance mark twain's adventure of huckleberry finn satire as the hypocrisies of pre civil war society in the american south especially its traditions of racism and slavery so here we can understand how the novels and literature are based on the satire and used as a use rate to make fun of it or criticize on it what is the similarity between the satire and humor humor satirist use humor not only to ridicule their subject but also to gain the attention and trust of their readers while readers might not always respond to highly conceptual nonced argument for change laid out in a dense manifesto or academic essay they can easily and enjoyable enjoyably recognize societal problems targeted by satirical writing some scholars have argued that the popular appeal of satire helps to in bringing about actual social reform since the use of humor makes it easier to disseminate political and societal critic critics more widely however humor is not a required element of satire george orwell's animal farm is one of the more famous satires ever written so humor is used to show the satire and used for criticize or in the society or any social problem it shows the social problem and criticize on it with the use of satire so in the next lecture we learn about more about the satire satire and satirical novel till then thank you and stay home stay safe